It's a brand new year and it's just time. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, like weeks, months, honestly. And since I moved into this new place, I've kind of like shifted my clothing storage situation. A few months ago, I turned this room into like my closet room. So I have a lot of clothes that have accumulated because of my job, because I go thrifting a lot. And I think it's time to just purge. I've really just been feeling that itch. Like I just really need to purge and more than anything, begin like donating and selling the clothing that's been collecting in various parts of my house. I need to like start listing stuff on Poshmark. I need to take things into resale stores. I need to donate to women's shelters, go to thrift stores, etc. So we're going to do that today. So I have basically like this giant clothing rack in here and we're going to go through it, go through some of my shoes, some of my accessories, maybe like my sweatshirts, my coats, and just start off this year fresh. We're just gonna purge. Also, if you can hear like pouring rain water sounds in the background, it is absolutely chucking it down here in LA and it has been for the entire day and I've been trying to avoid it and you're just gonna hear it. So just sort of like take it as an ASMR experience, you know, close your eyes, relax, enjoy, grab a snack, grab something cozy and we're gonna clean up this closet. So let's do it. So I think the first thing I wanna do is like start from the top. Cause this thing right here, this clothing rack is like very top heavy and it's making me a little nervous. Some days I walk in here and I'm like, are you about to tip over? Cause it looks like you're gonna tip over. So I think we need to just sort of like go through this top section first and take a lot of the bulk out. I also, right before I went to England, like panic bought 12 different sweaters on ThreadUp. That is like always my go-to is going on ThreadUp and like panic ordering a bunch of stuff. So I think I need to end up like either reselling some of that stuff or donating it or whatever. So yeah, there's like a lot of sweaters and things that I haven't really been wearing like duplicates and things like that. So anyways, okay, we're gonna start here. Starting with this little section, these are like a lot of dresses and things. All right, let's just go piece by piece. This, I don't even remember where I got it, but as far as like wearing it every day, I don't know. It's not the right season for it. So I think I might actually put it with like more kind of summery stuff because it's not a very fall and winter dress. So there we go, one hanger, okay. I don't even remember where I got this, but I think I was like attempting to re-enter my, oh my God, tangles. I was attempting to re-enter my tumbler phase and I haven't worn it. I probably won't. It's just not my style. So huh, how am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna do a resale pile and then like a donate pile and then we'll go from there. So that's gonna go to the resale pile. This dress is so, so cute, but again, it's kind of like a summer dress. So I'm contemplating putting it with the summer stuff. It's very Julia Gulia, very 1990s. It's from the brand City Chic, but I think maybe I'll be able to wear it with like tights, boots, maybe like a black cardigan. So I think I'll hang on to it. This dress, see, this is what I do. And I maybe I'll hang on to this for a special occasion, but I went and did a Target fitting room video a few months ago and I found this dress. I tried it on. It's by Wild Fable. It's super cute. It has the tags on it. It's got this cute sort of like feathery, fringy thing going on and I love it. But when am I ever going to freaking wear this? Like I literally just sit at my house all day long. Maybe I'll hang on to it for like one more cycle, but I don't see myself wearing this. We have my ever so iconic little beachy kind of overalls. I don't even know what to call these. They're like one of my favorite thrifted items of 2022. It's by the brand Extra Touch and they're so comfortable. I think I thrifted these when I was at Alexa's a few months back, but it's very summer. So again, gonna go with the summer stuff. I probably should have done this like, you know, not when we're inching towards spring here in LA, but whatever. My brain doesn't work that way. Next we have some more like dresses that could be summer but they also could be winter but I'm not gonna wear this many dresses in the winter so like this can go. I think when I first initially went through this stuff, it was like the beginning of fall and I was much more inclined to wear this kind of stuff because it was warmer, but it's straight up like in LA, at least right now, it's like sweaters, leggings, Ugg boots kind of weather. So I actually might even honestly just put all of these dresses away until summertime. I'll keep like this one, like ones that I can wear that are kind of a wintry vibe. Like I can wear them with tights and boots and things like that. The rest of them, they're gonna go until the summertime. 
Now we're gonna move over to this side, starting with this dress. This is like the most stunning dress. It's the most me thing ever. I actually thrifted this when I was in London. I have a video from when Alexa and I went thrifting in the UK together. And this was so much fun. I honestly like loved thrifting this. It's like my favorite find. It's from ASOS. And I definitely think I could still wear it even though it's winter time. So that's gonna get added over here. Then we have the overalls collection. Actually, this is mostly the Disney overalls collection. So we have the Winnie the Pooh overalls and we have the Minnie Mouse overalls. These are two of my most prized possessions. I love them dearly. It's not really warm enough to wear these right now, so I might actually put these away until summer, but also, mm, I feel like I'm being a little harsh because today it is particularly cold and it will be for the next little bit. So you know what? Yeah, let's make some room. Let's free up some space. Same with these shorts overalls. I will not be wearing shorts anytime soon, at least not in the next few weeks, so. Those can go. Summer dress, summer dress. This top I've worn like one time, but it is hella cute. You're gonna start seeing a pile down here. <laughs> pile up that's but that's what we're going for honestly we need that this top is so stinking cute i can't remember where i got it asos and it's like a kind of sheer shirt but i don't really wear a lot of shirts like this but also every now and then i'll get inspired by an outfit and i'm like oh i should try that and then sometimes i'll have already donated that piece or gotten rid of it so maybe i will hold on to it just in case and it is a really really cute top i just like don't really know where i would wear it but we'll hang on to it for a little bit longer this dress i thrifted i don't remember where i was but I, I know I for sure found this at a Savers or a Goodwill and it's really cute. It's like got that sort of fall vibe, but I didn't wear it once during the fall season. And you would think I would if I was like that obsessed with it and loved it that much. So I think this might go into the sale pile or the resale. I have had this for years and years and I've never worn it. Like I think I got this in 2019 and that was four years ago at this point and I still haven't worn it outside of the house. So I don't know if I will, but also I like to keep things. It's like, what if I get invited to an event or something? <laughs> that sounds so silly because that doesn't happen. But I don't know, it's like part of me kind of does want to hang on to it just in case. This dress, very spring and summer vibes. It has never been worn by me, but it's really cute. I think I thrifted this. It's by H&M originally and haven't gone to wear it yet, but not gonna wear it anytime in the winter. We have this gorgeous Eloquy dress that I did get a year ago and I still haven't had a chance to wear yet. I really, really want to. So this was like a sort of selky dress dupe. If you're familiar with those selky dresses, they're literally like 300 and something dollars. And this was a fraction of that. I think I got this for $70. I just haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but we will be holding on to this. Absolutely. Another summer dress that can wait. I love this dress. This is from Kohl's. I did a video with them back like over the summer and oh my God, I love that dress. This is like a sort of ruched dress. And actually this dress is probably one of the most flattering things I have in my closet. So if you are out thrifting or you see a dress that's similar to this shape, I'm not like a bodycon kind of girl, but I love this dress. I just think it's so gorgeous. Definitely gonna hang on to that. This dress I was actually gifted by Hutch Design. This is a size 1X and it's a really, really beautiful dress, but I don't really see myself wearing it. It's a really pretty print though, so maybe I will hang on to it. See, whatever, I'm going against my own advice. I'm saving things for a rainy day, but sometimes you never know. Like I said, I don't wanna look back and be like, oh, I could have used this for this occasion and I donated it or gave it away. So we'll hold on to that. She lives to see another day. This dress I got on ThreadUp. It's originally from Yoins, Your Inspiration or Yoins. I'm not sure how to say it. It's a little bit big on me, but oh, so cute. And it's perfect for this time of year. But part of me is like, this still is a summer dress. Like what's the difference between this and this besides the colors? But to me, I could get away with wearing this in the fall and winter with like tights or something, but I probably wouldn't. So we'll hold off. We'll hold off until Miss Spring comes around. Next up we have, oh, I totally see. This is why you gotta do this. I totally forgot I even had this. I recently picked this up at the Rose Bowl flea market, probably back in like September, October. And this is such a gorgeous slip dress. I've actually kind of considered dyeing it like a darker color, maybe like a purple or something like that because it's just so pretty, but it is very summertime to me. Although I could wear this with like a leather blazer and some black cowboy boots. So maybe I'll hang on to it for winter time, but oh, love this one. This dress is a nightgown, let's be fully honest. Um, this was something that I thrifted, I think when I was in search of like a folklore 
type of look um, when I was doing a Taylor Swift themed video where I just basically recreated like all her eras and everything was secondhand, which was great. Um, but I don't like wear this and I thought about keeping it and wearing it as a belt and kind of doing like a debut era type of look, but I haven't. So that's gonna go. Okay, so we've freed up a lot of space. Like that was literally just dresses. That's crazy. So now let's move on to this area, the top and hopefully, you know, cut it down just as much because it's excessive at this point. All right, so I'm gonna take a little organization break and then we'll reconvene and do the rest. All right, next up, as I said, we are going to do tops and sweaters. So we are gonna go right into it. Actually, over here, I have many of the same thing. So for example, I have this cream colored sweater that I thrifted on ThreadUp. It's from Old Navy. It's a size extra large. It's cute, but I have like three like it. So that is going to go. I will part ways with her. We have my Backstreet Boys shirt that I actually just got at Urban Outfitters. And I need to crop. I wanna make this into a crop top. And maybe honestly, I'll just cut Brian out <laughs> put a mark over Nick. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. But I do need to do that, so I'll put that in a pile for later. Okay, back to the cream sweaters. We have this cream sweater. 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 <laughs> and we have this cream vest. Got the vest. And wait, another cream vest. And another beige-ish, cream-ish vest. And yet another beige-ish vest. Like, what was I doing? What am I doing? So, okay, starting with the vests, because those are kind of like in their own category. This one I thrifted when I was in the UK and I like it. I haven't worn it yet. I still haven't figured out like the perfect way to style it, but I do like that it's a bit longer. However, sometimes I want one that's a bit shorter. So I don't know. We'll still play around with this because I mean, I just got it. We have this vest, which I think is really, really cute. It's vintage. I found it on ThreadUp. It's by New River Co. And it has these cute kind of like turquoisey buttons on it, but then and I also have these other two vests that are similar to it as well. I have this one that I got in the UK that's definitely handmade. I found it at a charity shop. There's no tag or anything and you can just tell that it's handmade, which makes me want to hang on to it, but I feel like this one's more practical. They're kind of the same thing though, aren't they? I feel like something is telling me to hang on to this one and let go of this one. I hope you're not yelling at me in the comments. And then we have this one that's from Zara and it's like a different category. So, okay, we have three similar vests, but they're not the same, so it's fine. And then for the rest of the cream sweaters, these do all have different like reasons. They have different purposes. This is more of like a loungewear sweater, so I think I'm gonna actually hang this where my like hoodies and sweatshirts are, but it's really, really comfy. This one is more of, oh my God, there's rogue things hanging off of it. See, this is why I need to do this. This is more of like an oversized kind of tunic thing. So I'll hang on to this one. This is like a cardigan. So it feels like it's different. I mean, I don't know. I wear a lot of like light colored sweaters these days. And then this one is sort of my go-to cream slash white sweater. It's originally from Wild Fable. I got it on thread up and I love wearing it with like skirts and stuff in the winter. So I mean, it could be worse. They are, <laughs> again, very similar, but they have purposes. So I'm okay with that. I mean, I did end up only getting rid of one vest and one sweater, but I'm okay with that. This is a summer little crochet. This is like a handmade. I got this at um, the Melrose Trading Post in LA. It's like a little flea market. So that's gonna go in the summer pile. This sweater I got for a specific purpose. Like I wanted to wear it with that little sort of nightgowny looking dress. And then I tried it on and I hated it. So that's gonna get resold. Look at all these hangers we have already, by the way. Um, that's amazing. More sweaters. We have this brown cardigan, iconic, keeping that forever. This brown top, I really haven't worn that much. It's from Kohl's. I really like it. I love the material. It's super soft, but I just don't see myself wearing it that much. So that's gonna go. More sweaters, cause why not? I thrifted this before my UK trip, never wore it. It's cute. 
I might see if I can wear it maybe like once or twice before the season's up. There's a lot of sweaters. I might just actually go through the sweaters first. I have this one that I thrifted on ThreadUp as well. I do a lot of shopping on there. Like I work with them, but I also am like a super fan customer. So that one's gonna stay. We've got some short sleeve sweaters. Actually this one I ordered on Black Friday from Berries and I was gonna wear this on my birthday, but it was freezing cold on my birthday. So gotta find a day where it's not as as cold and rainy to wear this because like how cute is this short sleeve sweater are you kidding i'm dead so okay i think I, what i need to do next instead of like shouting every single thing out loud is just going through like a chunk of this organizing it and then we'll update with where we're at i found two more cream sweaters but um we're not going to talk about that We have, I'm gonna go through like this stack of t-shirts. We have a lot of basics, cause I mean, pretty much I lounge around the house in like leggings and a t-shirt most days. So we have this one, which I think is from Old Navy. I'll hang on to this. I've started like a little basics t-shirt area so that'll go there we have this top which actually alexa thrifted for me that is so cute and i love wearing it i don't know how it ended up there but this is from the brand gb but she thrifted this for me like god probably two three years ago so i'm gonna hang on to that with all the other little cutesy tops i love that shirt we have another white tee very simple we have this shirt that i got at a thrift store with my friend maggie in arizona and this is like a friends tea yes i am a millennial and i do not care already the fact that i can make this much room is insane um i thrifted this shirt with alexa and it's a really cool shirt it's like stepping into my spirit accountability like wellness therapy etc but i um very chaotically in an adhd moment cropped this and as you can see i completely butchered it like i totally ruined it so i think i need to donate it so that someone who has a shorter torso than me can wear it because basically it cuts off like at my tits so that's not gonna work so that can go my that's so raven shirt has to stay obviously my 90s country shirt has to stay these are two iconic shirts i got this shirt from oddly which says my body my choice obviously and um the proceeds went to like a lot of different amazing funds so i'm gonna hang on to that and then i have this mickey shirt or sorry mini shirt that i got at disneyland and i actually have a few disney shirts so i think i'm gonna actually keep like my disney shirts together in the t-shirt section so that when i'm getting ready and going to disneyland i can like grab the t-shirts i actually just yesterday this just came out of the dryer after washing and sanitizing it i just got this freaking adorable tiger tank top are you kidding the cutest i got that at the rose bowl flea market so we'll put the disney stuff like towards the back maybe of the t-shirts and then we will put these other t-shirts back because they're all gonna stay we have some tank tops that are very much summer shirts like i don't know why these are still here i think i kept them because of the palette like they were browns and greens and stuff and we were like moving into fall and winter but it's straight up winter now so those are gonna go away for a few weeks this tank top can stay this oh i'm so sad this is like a sonoma vest that i thrifted at the rose bowl flea market that i love but it's too small for me i'm sad i really didn't try it on that well so that's gonna go ultra top summer this can stay because these are sort of more like loungy and i wear them under crew necks and stuff like that so i'll put this with the other tank tops we're getting there Okay, now on to tops. This top I thrifted when I was in the UK and I could see myself maybe wearing like a turtleneck or something underneath it for the winter time, but I don't think I would. So I'll probably put that with the summer stuff because I love this gingham. Again, summer tank, summer tank. This is more of like a sweater, halter, bodysuit material. This is from Abercrombie. I've worn it in videos before, but it has a sort of like crisscross halter in the front. So I'll hang on to that for, I don't know, winter appropriate things so really what i'm realizing is i should have just gone through this like once it was officially winter half of my problems would have been gone because i'm actually not getting rid of that much stuff right now it's mostly just taking summer stuff but at least we're organizing together okay i'm gonna do the last little pile of tops and then we'll move on to bottoms and be done thank god moving on to the bottom section we have mostly pants 
and then some shoes down there. So there are some like random skirts and things in here that I probably will keep, but let's start back here with the pants. I believe I did like my sort of cargoes and like pattern pants back here. I have this pair from Madewell, this really, really cute gingham pair of jeans that I've had for a few years now. I think these are called the Emmett pant and they're so cute, but I don't really wear them enough to justify keeping them in my closet. I wore them for the first time like in two years the other day. So I think they've got to go. I got this pair of pants and actually this pair from Target and they're both so cute. These are a little too big though. So I do think I'm going to donate them to someone who is more like a size 18 because I think it'll fit them a lot better. And then this pair is like a little bit too short. Maybe I'll hang on to this and see what I can do, but these are definitely gonna go. And next we have my brown jeans from Hollister, which I love. These are, I think just like the cargo dad jeans is what they're called. So comfortable, highly recommend, very stretchy as well. We have the white cargo pants from ASOS, which are, are a little bit short on me, but again, we'll work with it. We have this pair. This is so sad. This is like a sort of khaki pair from ASOS that I got a couple years ago, but they're just too big. Like they're just too big and I've tried to make them work and they're just too big but they're so freaking cute like I love a wide leg trouser so I'm like do I just get them taken in at the waist I really never wear these so no they're gonna go it's time for them to go next we have some jeans with these two pairs of black jeans I wear them about once a year but whatever um, I got this pair of overalls which is like a khaki colored pair of overalls and every time I think I want to get rid of these I think of an outfit that I could wear them with. So they're a staple, they're gonna stay. We have my two pairs of black trousers, which I'll actually put towards the back and then put the jeans here. I've gotta get rid of these shoes. These are coming off. We'll go through you shortly. So now for the jeans. I don't wear jeans that often, um, I really don't. So the fact that I have this many pairs of jeans is kind of weird. And I have a pair, a couple pairs in the wash as well. So anyways, we'll try to pare it down. So we have, this Abercrombie pair, those can stay. We have this old navy pair, is that what these are from? These are slightly too big. They're like my favorite when it comes to the rise. They're the OG straight. And they're in a size 16, but I really kind of need a 14. But sometimes a 14 is too snug and a 16 is too big. Anyways, these are gonna go. We have my Good American Flares that I have worn a total of like one time. We have another pair of Good American Good 90s with the tag on them. Still haven't worn those, but I did get a gift card. That's why I bought them. My pair of overalls from the Rose Bowl. They're my favorite. I'm gonna go in the back here with the other overalls. We have this pair of, what are these? Madewell jeans. Those are like a classic, those can stay. These were from a mystery thrift box. These are a vintage pair of Levi's. And then this pair from Warp and Weft. Uh, I've worn these like once, but they are kind of like a cargo jean, so I'll hang on to those. Oh, I'm sad to say this, but I did get these green jeans at Primark when I was in the UK and they're so cute, but like I just, I planned on wearing them at Christmas and then I never did. And I don't really see myself wearing green jeans that much. So I actually think I'm gonna resell these, sadly. Then we have my cargo skirt. This is the one I kept from ASOS. It's like the midi one that can stay. And then these midi skirts slash maxi skirts, so those can stay. I'm actually gonna put this white one that I thrifted when I was in the UK, this M&S one. Um, it's really cute, but I'm gonna put it with the spring and summer stuff because I'm not gonna wear white before, like, I don't know, spring. We have a couple of skirts, which I actually could pare down because I found some other ones, but uh, the only thing is this pleated skirt, quote unquote, like lost all of its pleats when I washed it. I also kind of don't want to get rid of it. So maybe I'll hang on to it a little bit longer. This circle skirt I like, but I have others like it. I recently got one from Thread Up that's like really cute. This cargo khaki skirt I love, but again, can be like a summer thing. So I'll put that in the summer pile. And now we have just like the basics. So we have my black skirt that I got from ASOS, which I will put in the front because that's the one I wear the most. I have this navy one from Thread Up. I have this little denim one from Target. And then this one is thrifted. It's like a very kind of like 60s design. I love that. And then this one, which I also got on Thread Up, which is from ASOS, is literally like probably my most worn skirt, like a beer. I love it. And there we have it. Oh, so much lighter. Okay, let me move her back to her home. And then, Lastly, we will tackle the shoes and then be done with this. Back to your home you go. Okay, here we have my little shoe corner. This tiny 
Ikea shoe holder is bursting at the seams. So we're gonna do our best with her and just try to keep it as organized as possible. I really honestly need another one, but this is like the best solution. I kind of wanted everything in here. So this is where we're at. We'll start with the top. We've got lots of Converse. Oh, actually that's fine. It's down to three. That's not bad. We have a mustard pair, which I wear from time to time, not super often. I have this lugged pair, this sort of like ivory cream color. I don't really wear these, I'm not gonna lie. So these are a possible donation pile situation, but I don't know, I'll probably hang on to them. And then we have the black pair. I actually had a white platform pair, but I ruined them sitting in the grass. So I am now down to just a black pair. And those are like my go-to like Disneyland. Like those are my shoes that I really beat up and put through hell. We have a couple pairs of Doc Martin low tops. I have these Oxfords. These are more of like a platform. Those are really cute, but hella uncomfortable. We have this pair of, I think these were from Nasty Gal or something. I don't know because it's disintegrated on the inside, but these are like the best boots that I have bought in so long. I think I got these in like 2018 or 2019. I've had them forever. They're so broken in and comfortable and like actually really didn't even need to break them in. And it just goes to show, sorry to the Doc Martin stands out there, but oh my God, like it's impossible to break those things in. We have my two pairs of over the knee boots. We have my new Air Maxes that Drew got me for my birthday. They're a platform pink pair. Oh, they're so cute, I love them. We have a pair of Uggs, which Drew got me for Christmas. The pink ones, so stinking cute, love those. We have a pair of platform vans. These are like a go-to, must have in my closet at all times, love vans. Got some more low top Doc Martens. These Oxfords are secondhand. These are like a burgundy pair. I wore these in the UK and I love them. Got some boots down here, got my Hoka's, got my Focas, which are fake Hoka's. These are the Walmart ones, if you remember the trendy It Girl dupes video. Still wear these, so we'll just try to make this work the best we can. I have a couple pairs of dunks that I've worn each like one time, so I feel kind of bad about that. Maybe I will end up reselling these, I'm not sure. But they are really cute. Next we will do docks and boots. P.S. These Doc Martin sandals the most comfortable thing in the world. So I actually take back what I said about Doc Martens. Um, these sandals, they're called the Moss sandal, I think. Most comfortable sandal ever, never had to break them in. Love them. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Next we have the over the knee boots. We'll do one on either side over here. These are like my less frequently worn, I guess. Then up here we will do Converse. We will do the Uggs. And then we will do my fake Birkenstocks. Beautiful. Oh, that is so relieving. Okay, we're done. We did it. We made some progress. Oh my God. Okay, honestly, I'm impressed. Like this is where we're at. That is a bag of donations that I will be taking to the thrift store. This is the stuff that I will be placing on Poshmark. And that is the amount of hangers that I now have that I did not have before. That is so unbelievably iconic. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, hanging out with me on this rainy day, cleaning up my closet feels so good. It's like such a weight off my shoulders. I feel so much lighter, so much fresher going into this new year. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you wanna see more closet clean outs in 2023, definitely let me know in the comments below. I typically do these like quarterly, but maybe I could do them every so often who knows let me know what you want to see and just let me know what videos in 2023 in general that you want to see i'm so excited to test out more clothing go thrifting do all the fun stuff so thank you so much for being here i'm sending you all of my love and i will see you very soon in my next video